certainly wish they would have now. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Madden 24 College Football Mod Showcase. Holy crap, guys, this mod is up to 61 college football teams. Today we've got Ohio State versus Michigan. A lot of you guys requested, so if you like the video, like the content, make sure you like and subscribe. And we'll go ahead and get right into this one. They call this one The Game. And we're gonna pick this one up early in the first quarter. It's gonna be Michigan quarterback. J.J. McCarthy, he finds his man on the outside, Tyler Morris, who takes it a little bit further. That is a 20-yard gain early in this drive. Later on in the drive, third down and three, McCarthy's going to find his tight end in traffic. It's Colston Loveland, and he's going to have a big game today. That's that security blanket. On second down, McCarthy's going to be rolling to his right. He finds his man who dives into the end zone. That is A.J. Barner for a 16-yard touchdown. Big time opening drive for Michigan as they take an early lead. Now, after an Ohio State three and out, it's going to be McCarthy dropping back to throw. And he's under pressure. He throws and he is going to be picked off by Tommy Eichenberg, giving Ohio State huge field, field position to get back into this game. Early mistake for Michigan. Ohio State second down with the field position in the red zone. Hands it off to Trayvon Henderson, who gets a nice run to bring the ball inside the 10 yard line to give Ohio State a first down and goal. But after a penalty pushes him back, it's Kyle McCord throwing across the middle. He's going to be intercepted by Michael Barrett, who, let's just face it here, just makes some magic happen. He's dodging defenders. He's going to take this one all the way back. So the defense holds after the costly turnover. But Ohio State's turnover ended up being way more costly. Incredible pick six return, dodging a bunch of Ohio State defenders. Now, on their next drive, Ohio State has the ball back. And it's strange because Ohio State really didn't have a lot of problems moving the ball. McCord was able to find receivers and get big chunk plays and really make an impact through the air. You're going to see McCord again drop back and hit his man deep across the middle. Again, Ohio State was able to pick up yards. They just could not convert on critical third downs. Here they're going to settle for a field goal. On Michigan's next possession on a third down, it's going to be McCarthy rolling out to his right. He's going to find Cornelius Johnson for 21 yards up the sideline. Huge gain on third down. On the very next play, McCarthy off of play action, looking deep, finds his tight end. It's Matthew Hibner for 27 yards. They are moving. On second down later in the drive, it's running back Blake Corum. He had a huge night on the ground, 19-yard rush to get Michigan inside the five for a first down and goal. Now, if your running back gets you down there, you got to give it back to him and let him get the touchdown. It's going to be Corum running it in to give Michigan a two-score lead. Now, Ohio State with the ball back, trying to get some points before heading into the half. Like I said, they really didn't have a lot of problems moving the ball on this play. It's going to be McCourty finds his tight end. It's Cade Stover. He gets 20 yards on third down and one later in the drive. McCord is going to find Emeka Egbuka for eight yards, and they're going to settle again for a field goal, trying to put something on the board. Now, picking this one up in the third, Ohio State has the ball. It's going to be McCord dropping back. He finds Marvin Harrison Jr., the superstar, and that is, believe it or not, his first catch of the game. And as you see McCord drop back here, I mean, you can see they were literally trying to force the ball to him. He was just blanketed. It was just a strategy. He was not going to be the one to beat Michigan today. They were trying to get him involved, but as you can see on another third down, the pressure comes and it was just too much. I, I don't know how these two teams play in real life, but Michigan was just so, it seemed so much more physical than Ohio State. And all of the plays they made on defense all came on third down. It was insane. Now Michigan with the ball back, trying to kill some clock. It's going to be Blake Corum 
on the run and oh my goodness some spectacular moves in the open field he just takes off again he had a huge game and was pivotal in killing this clock now after a michigan punt it's going to be McCord with the ball back again he's going to pass to his left side he's going to hit g scott for 21 yards down the sideline and Finally, as you can see, they're getting some momentum. He's going to find his tight end. That's Cade Stoker. He's going to make a couple guys miss. He's still on his feet. That is a 35-yard gain. That was a heck of a play. Stover had a really big game, y'all. But again, look at the pressure. Look at the physicality of Michigan. McCord drops back. He can't find anything. He is going to be sacked. And a loss like that, those are the things that kill drives. But look on the third down. Again, look at the pressure. He can't get around the edge. And he's going to be sacked again, forcing Ohio State to settle for another field goal. With time running out, again, Ohio State is trying to make a run here. He's going to find Marvin Harrison Jr. Again, that's just a short pass to the flat there. They were trying to get him involved in the offense really any way they could. You're going to see McCord going back to him here uh, this time he just missed him across the middle he pats himself on the chest says that's on me and they're actually going to come right back to the same play this time he's able to hit harrison but again not much really came from it any type of offensive momentum ohio state was able to gain was killed uh, by the defensive line of michigan you can see a critical third down and two here the pressure is immediately in the backfield and mccord throws an incomplete pass that was the story of the game really now michigan has the ball back and it's time to kill the clock with their star running back blake corum you're going to see him take this handoff to the left side that is a 10 yard pickup on the next play a very similar run but this time he's got blockers out front and it's going to spring him that is a huge game quorum picks up 32 yards and this time it's going to be quorum to the outside he beats the defense that's going to be a 15 yard touchdown run for blake quorum to put this game away and michigan and the celebration begins it's a home game for michigan they're going to be their huge rival ohio state we'll see if the game ends up being closer or if there's a different outcome in real life but i had a blast playing this one y'all again like i said let me know if there's any other college matchups you want to see i'll drop them on the channel on saturdays and let me know who you want to see and who you want me to play with other than that guys it's your boy shady mike i'm signing out i'll let the stats roll and i'll catch y'all next one peace threes